everybody. Today we have an unboxing of a bag that I ordered from Rebag. I've been um, into uh, vintage bags recently. So I ordered, I found this vintage bag on Rebag and um, I went ahead and ordered it. It's supposed to be in good condition. So I'm hoping that is the case. So I'm looking forward to see um, this uh, vintage bag. So here we go. This is my first time ordering from Rebag. Um, it looks like it's pretty well packaged. So this is the receipt. So there's a dust bag. Let's take this out. Oh, I'm excited. It's very well protected. So let's take those away, put this away, and then uh, it's a nice big dust bag. Okay. Oh, I think you can kind of see a little bit. Oh, can you see? It's a multicolored trivial. Oh, how adorable is this bag? Oh my god. This bag is so adorable. Okay, let's take the plastic bag away. So, what is this? Oh, this is the... Um, Authenticity card from Rebag. Oh, this is in like really good condition. I mean, there is a little bit of discoloration on the handle. Can you see? So there's some patina and there's some discolor, uh, discoloration on the handle. I may just put my hand here so it will focus. So you can see some discoloration, but it's not bad at all for um, given the age of this bag. So let's see, let's check the date code to see how old this bag is. It's actually smaller than I thought it would be, but it's, it's still very adorable. So let's check the date code. This is made in France. Yay, I love made in France. Where's the date code? Date code. Where are you? Huh, I can't seem to find date code. Let me just go off camera and then find the date code. Okay, so I finally found the date code. It was really hard to find it. So the date code is inside this pocket, in a pocket. Um, so if you flip over the date of pocket here, I don't know if I can show it to you. So it's day code is right here. Can you see right here? It says MI0045. So that means this bag was manufactured in 2005, either April or fourth week. I'm not sure whether it's a week or a month. So this bag was made in 2005. So this bag is 15 years old. So for a bag that's 15 years old, it's in like in superb condition. So upon close inspection, it looks like it's got, well, it's got gorgeous honey patina at this stage. And it seems to be in really good condition. Um, there's just slight um, spots on the handle, um, but here I don't see any spots and uh, the uh, this part seems to be all okay. Um, the hardware, there is a very minor scratches. I don't know if you can see it, so can you see like, well, maybe not. There is a very small scratches like right there there's small scratches, um, but other than that, it looks really gorgeous. And I love this color combination, this 
purple, pink, and green, and blue. It's a gorgeous color combination. So I've been eyeing this Trueville Multicolor. Um, so I'm really glad that I, I was able to snatch this up. Um, I'll probably um, put some toilets on the handle so my hand, all the stuff from my hand doesn't stain the handles. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to be able to use this bag. It's going to be a great summer bag. So yeah, it's really beautiful. Oh, maybe I can show you guys what fits in the bag. It's, it's actually quite smaller than I expected. So let me just get prepared to show you um, what fits in the bag. Okay, so I gather some stuff that I, you know, may carry on day-to-day -day basis. Uh, not every day, but there's some essentials that I'll carry every day. And some of the stuff that I may carry in some days, um, some days I won't. So I gather some of the stuff that I may want to carry. Um, by the way, I was just gathering some stuff and then I saw my one of my doggies sniffing on the handles so even though i just unboxed it i already got some watermarks here bad doggies this is my doggies uh, sniff mark and then right right there there's a watermark i try to wipe it off but you know how um the vachetta vachetta leather is the watermarks you can't remove them so oh well um so let's see, um, let me show you the measurement first. So this bag is, let's see, little less than 11 inches wide, um, about eight and a half inches high, and the depth on the very bottom is about four and a half, maybe four and a quarter. <clears throat> so let's see what fits in here. So this is iPad that's, um, it's iPad Pro 11 point something inches, I don't remember. So it's a big iPad. This doesn't fit, it's too big. So you can see it won't fit. So let's forget this. This is iPad Air. It's an old model of iPad Air in order box defender series. So it's a big case. Um, so that, that does fit. So it does fit. It's a little bit tight on the corner, but it does fit. Let's see what else fits in here. My um, keyboard pouch. My Kindle. My smaller pouch, my uh, sunglass case, and this is my uh, small umbrella. Let's see if I can put this in here. Wow, it does fit, although it may be a little difficult to uh, zip it up. So let's take this out for now. And then my ginormous cell phone case. Since I'm filming using my phone, it's just a case. So this is iPhone 8 Plus uh, in Autobox Defender Series. That fits no problem. And these are uh, SLGs that I carry. So my six key holder, my um, car case, and this is uh, another car case that I'm using as a main wallet. So just pop those in there. Maybe I'll put this one in the pocket. Oh no, never mind. I'll just stick it in there. So they all fit in there. Can I zip it up? Yes. So they all fit. Oh, the more I look at it, the more I'm thinking this bag is so gorgeous. I think I now want it in black color as well. There's a black multicolor that I've been eyeing, but I um, haven't uh, scored a good one yet. So maybe I'll think about getting a black one too. It's just so pretty. It's such a beautiful bag. Anyway, so let's see if I take some of this out. Maybe if I take out the iPad, 
um, then I can put this car stuff in the pocket and then put this in there and then I can put keep my water bottle in here that fits and then maybe umbrella yeah, that's too much so maybe water bottle or umbrella I don't want them not both so let's say water bottle and it zips up no problem wow this is so pretty I'm very happy about this bag and it fits a lot even though it's it's pretty small um, I mean smaller than I expected Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I'm looking forward to doing uh, maybe update on this purse and um, give a wear and tear or a more detailed review or something. So please let me know um, if you want to uh, watch some of those uh, stuff. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.